hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel so in this video i'm going to talk about ios 15.5 beta 1 update on my iphone 10r so as you can see this is iphone 10r and after a long time after ios 15.4.1 or rather i should say ios 15.4 rc update this is the first update of series beta so this update came in about 5.66 gigabytes on my iphone 10r and this is pretty normal if you're having any device and if you're coming from a you know public version to the beta version so the sizes are always big so if you're having any iphone expect the size to be over 5 gigabytes so i received this update yesterday night so in this video we're going to talk about ios 15.5 beta 1 and what are the new features and new things that are included with this beta update so let's get right into the video but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel do give this video a thumbs up and always consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings and let me go to the general and about section if i tap on the software version as you can see the ios version is ios 15.5 and the build number is 19 f 5047e now i had taken a screenshot before updating yesterday as you can see so if i show you before updating the build number was 19e241 and after updating it has been updated to ios 15.5 now one good thing about all the iphones that have recently got ios 15.5 beta update is it also includes a new modem firmware update so as you can see before updating uh, you know the modem firmware was 4.03.02 and after updating as you can see we have a new modem firmware for iPhone 10R and the version is 4.04.01 now it's not necessary that you know you would have the similar version of modem firmware on your iphone because the modem firmware is something which depends on phone to phone but i'm pretty much sure if you're using series beta softwares then you would definitely see a new modem firmware update also apart from that as you can see before updating the available space was 24.66 gb and after updating it is like kind of you know the space is increased i would say the available space is 24.74 gb now this is a beta series of updates and this is beta 1 i would say so i did not find you know many changes on the ui front or the settings front there are you know few changes here and there with you know apple watch application and other things like that but there are no major features included like ios 15.4 final release like you know uh, unlock the iPhone with Face ID, uh, with the mask on, things like that. So I did not find any new features with iOS 15.5 beta 1. But one thing I have to mention about the battery life because a lot of people were you know, complaining about the battery life. So let me first take you to the battery graph and before that let me go to the battery health. As you can see after updating to iOS 15.5 beta 1 the battery health hasn't dropped. So still it is at 89% and to remind you again I have been using this iPhone 10R for more than 3 years now and using this iphone for three years and having 89 percent of battery health is something spectacular i would have to say so also if you're having iphone 10r or recently purchased iphone 10r let me know in the comment section what is the battery life and how is the performance of your iphone 10r now being said that let's get back to the battery as you can clearly see this is not my primary phone my primary phone is iphone 12 which is right now kept over here so if you take a look at the battery it is pretty much everything evident that this is kind of my secondary iPhone but to be honest you know I did not test the battery life but a lot of people have you know huge complaints about the battery life on while they are on iOS 15.4 iOS 15.4.1 had tried to fix the battery life but I'm not sure how much of it has been fixed with iOS 15.4.1 now coming back to this update you know i got this update it was pretty large and you know no major features were included at least with the beta 1 update so probably by next week or you know after two weeks we'll get to see ios 15.5 beta 2 probably in the beta 2 series of updates we'll get to see some of the new features generally because apple whenever they release beta 1 series of updates they don't push out new updates it generally comes 
with beta 2 or beta 3 updates. So just waiting for that. Apart from that, you know, performance is really smooth. There is no complaint regarding the performance. This iPhone is there with me for three years and I don't have still any performance issues with iOS 15.5 beta 1. Also, apart from that, I have run the Geekbench 5. So let me just share the Geekbench 5 scores with you. So as you can see, the Geekbench 5 scores are in front of you. The single core score came in about 1112 and the multi core score came in about 2712. Now, if you're having different iPhone, any iPhone other than iPhone 10 R, the scores would be actually different from this. But let me know in the comment section which iPhone you're using and if you have already updated to iOS 15.5 beta 1 or not. So considering the scores, I would say it's pretty much okay. And as I said before, you know, there are no performance issues as such. But you know, one thing I would like to see how's the battery life because I'm going to test out the battery life on the secondary iPhone as well, because a lot of people had huge complaints on the battery front, you know, with iOS 15.4. So this is the next update of iOS 15.5 beta one. And I'm pretty much, you know, hopeful that the battery life would be, you know, actually greatly improved with iOS 15.5 beta one. So then again, this was a little video about iOS 15.5 beta one i just wanted to let you guys know that i have received ios 15.5 beta one if you are on beta series of updates then only you would be able to receive this update otherwise as of now for all the users it is just ios 15.4.1 then again i hope you enjoyed the video give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel if you like the video and i will see you on my next video Bye bye